All right, so what is happening, folks? Uh, man, it's been a long day trying to get these, uh, trying to get this video, man, trying to get this video going, cause this is this is what I draw most of the time. So, you know, it's very hard to actually play Vendreds without rituals. So, I mean, I mean, without rituals spells, it's very very hard. I don't know if y'all ever played it, but if you uh, ever played Vendreds, you know that if you don't have a damn ritual spell, you can't do a damn thing. And why, why am I not surprised that he has Ice Veil? Why am I not surprised? So hopefully this pays off. You, you most likely just go Stoker right here, but we can have, we can have one good chances. We have one good chance to win this. We have one good chance to win this. We have one good chance to win this. One good chance. If he goes into it, we win. If he doesn't, we lose. Um, he has. If he goes into the win, which to the extra twenty. Oh fuck! He doesn't do it. Fuck. Well, there's a reason why I'm not good. There's a reason why. It's just not just some stuff you can just play around, man. It's just some stuff you just don't need to be doing. guess we can dump we can just send this i guess and this is folks why this is exactly why i play unizombies and stuff this is exactly why because stuff this happens all the time i always play against decks i can't i can't do anything with vendreds on their own is just probably the worst thing you can you can do this should have banished any monster they battled that would have been a lot better but apparently we can't all right so that's that's something that's something. So, what I can technically do is go Battle Lord, but then Battle Lord doesn't get. Oh, yeah, never mind. It does get me places. All right. So we're gonna set this. We're gonna activate. We're still good because uh, that's fine. Because like I said, we have this. And this is uh this is pretty good. Um I don't think I care about this. This is an effect I really don't care about because I'm not gonna be using it right now. Um let's go ahead and go this. Let's go battle lord, this and this. Special summon battle lord right there. We see to use Battle Lord. Uh, I think I want to banish Revenants. Can okay, banish Revenants, call monsters. See, that, that hurts. It hurt, though. Hmm. Yeah, that's the only thing I can really do is. Uh, Print activation of effects will banish this. Call monsters. Gonna chain this. And I'm gonna chain this. To banish this. And uh, we're all alright. We're alright for the time being, folks. We're alright for the time being. That pops that. We're able to use this. Um, I think we need to get to a slayer because if we draw a ritual spell. This is clearly what we need to have. Then we can dump uh, Striges, right? We can use Striges effect to reveal this. I think we might have game here. No, I'm pretty sure we don't, but we might, depending on what we draw. If we draw, if we're able to draw into a what's the name, we win. If we're not, we lose. Um, let's go Anima to banish Battle Lord. And this is what zero attack so just draw a free card top deck a ritual spell or a pre prep oh fucking ghost dogger why am i not surprised uh all right don't even know if i want to waste anima right now to be honest with you possibly should fudge it fudge it let's just go for it because we do have cards. I really wish Battle Lord. It was just see they all should have had a certain type of effect. I can't even go into a what's the name. That is garbage. 
Yo, I probably should have did that first. Ah, it's so garbage, man. You can't even play Yu-Gi-Oh correctly. It's so hurtful. He has another ice belt in his hand. There's nothing we can do. There's one light in the graveyard. No, oh, it's a Regeki. That's cool. All we just need is one more monster banished. Alistair. Wow. Yo, he has an Alistair. That's crazy. Regeki, Alistair, Ice Veil with a Solemn Warning. And a Ghost Ogre. It doesn't get any better than this, folks. I'm trying to tell you guys. Doesn't get any better than this, man. This is what I deal with consistently on a daily basis. But it's fine. I can't complain. We're playing Vendreds. And um, this is what happens, man. This is what happens. Uh, we just technically lose. Oh, actually, no. Zombies. They all have to be zombies. That's crazy. Uh, I don't even know what we can top deck. I don't know what we can top deck because we literally can't play because he just negates everything. That's pretty good. But I'm pretty sure he has something for it. Um... Pretty sure he has a spell, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. He has a spell. Can't really do anything about it. Guess the only thing we can do is keep baiting out cards out of his hand. Yep. He has a cosmic cyclone. That's, that's even better. It's cool though. We can we can try to get to where we need to get. All we know is he has Alistair in his hand. So if he's not setting cards, it's either he wants to keep the Western names in his hand. So we know he's keeping Alistair in his hand. All right, so that's cool. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, what do we need to top deck? I have no clue. That was definitely not one of the things we needed to top deck. We get rid of the Slayer because he knows it's a Slayer. He's going to banish it, which makes no type of sense. All right, so let's use this now. Target one, two, three, four, and five. We top deck a pre prep. We can probably get somewhere and win the game. There are Ash. That's not what we needed. God, man. And I was going to switch these out for us uh, Mirror Forces. Going to switch these out for Mirror Forces. And this is pretty much solidified that I should. I definitely should probably switch these things out for Mirror Forces. Um, yeah, this is uh, so two Alistair's in his hand. We know that for sure. So we don't know if he has a spell to negate. Oh, that's three Alistair's. He has three Alistair's in his hand, I'm guessing. Wow, this is cool. This is what y'all need to see. Y'all need to see what I deal with on a daily basis. So that means he, he literally only had one spell. You know what's really crazy? I play Vendred Charge, and I haven't seen it not near one game. Pretty crazy. Still haven't seen it. All right. Well, we can start with this, I guess. Uh, I think I want to actually search the evolution. Yeah, let's search evolution. Okay. I guess, man. I think Vindred is that powerful. People just quit on a Manju search. Yeah, man, this is exactly why I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you can mix this deck or play this deck pure because either, I don't know if my ratio is off, but I don't, there's no other besides Ritual Sanctuary, which is a neg one. I don't think there's, there's not really that many other cards that search rituals, that search ritual spells. And especially in Vendreds, you really can't do anything, but this is pretty decent. Um, I guess this is pretty good. I was one card off from literally not being able to activate pre-prep. That's crazy. That probably shouldn't exist. But hey, this is uh, this is good Yu-Gi-Oh, man. This is this great Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, so let's see how he can just build a board to just pretty much outclass me. Um, hopefully it's 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 true, it's true Draco or something like that or some deck that literally like sets up is that we get a daybreak and then after that oh a supply squad all right so it looks like a deck that needs set up all right that's good looking good it's looking good okay so the, that's what y'all gonna do all right so this is activate daybreak and let's just get this over with all right so is that 
normal summon this let's go ahead and just get it popping with a vampire sucker yep activate that we're gonna add a evolution um let's add an evolution because we can just start dumping other cards then let's send a core to the graveyard no why would i want to send core yeah i can send core i guess um you can use core to banish the slayer at the top special summon draw a free card uh literally can't activate nothing else This is a bad deck, bro. Probably should have sent core, but what can I do now? Oh, okay. That's 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 not pretty good. Um, yeah, let's just attack, I guess. Let's attack. Twenty-four in phase. Let's see an evenly match. In phase, evenly match. No, he doesn't have one. All right, let's put the storming over there, and let's see if we can actually get somewhere with this. Let's see if we can actually get somewhere. This is, I definitely just want to play this with tuners. All right, folks, so we're going to get one more good duel, and then um, that'll pretty much solidify that Pure Vendreds is most likely not the way to go because apparently you can just keep opening up nothing but ritual spells and not able to literally gain no type of advantage because this deck is an inherent neg one because it just doesn't like to give you any type of advantage. You're not able to do anything. Probably shouldn't have even set that, to be honest with you. Um, I, it, this card is cool. Oh man, that is that's that's just awful. We can't we can't end it on that. Can't end it on that, man. He was just gonna go Cyber Dragon Infinity and literally suck up Vin's Slayer, and then that would have been the end of the duel. All right, so here we go. This is something that we can work. We can work with this. We can work with this, man. This is something we can definitely work with. But we get Ashed. Oh, he doesn't have Ash. All right, so we're going to add Slayer here. Then we're going to Evolution for... What's the name? Gonna evolution for Slayer. Wait, what? Oh, I could send Striders, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Wait a minute. I could send... I can Tribute 1... And I could send a five, but I don't play five. So yeah, let's just let's just do that. Um, special summon that defense mode because I'm scared of a what's the name? <laughs> because I'm scared of a uh, because I'm scared of a, a cyber dragon infinity. That's crazy. That's crazy when you got to put stuff in defense because you're scared of an infinity. So let's activate Slayer. I guess we can dump uh, Hound Horde. Yeah, we can dump Hound Horde, huh? Yeah, let's dump Hound Horde. Dump Hound Horde. Use Hound Horde, discarding Anima. I'm pretty sure this is going to get Ghost Ogre. It looks like he... Hell, it doesn't have it. All right, drawn to another Anima. And what do I have in my graveyard? I don't even think I'm able to. So we have to use Anima to get this back. Um, and then what we can do is use these three to go into one slayer because I'm just going to put it in defense. I'm getting tired. I'm tired of it getting what's named. Then we can do this out of battle Lord. And then, yep, we're going to add a evolution back to the hand. And there we go. All that for a neg one. No, uh, even. Activated two cards that add two cards, and I'm literally infinite transients. Well, let's just banish it for free, I guess. Um, could have negated it. Don't know why he didn't. But I get digress. Union hanger. Oh, that's what you're playing. You're playing this. That's crazy good. Um, B Buster Drake. I feel like I shouldn't go Stoker because I'm pretty sure this guy has what's the name sitting in his hand. Um, I don't know if I do I lose the effect. I don't know. I don't know if I do lose the effect. There's uh, let me see what is in my graveyard. Strages. Yeah, we can banish Strages, I guess. We can banish Strages. 
They were going to protect it. No reason to use that because for f some reason on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, it only gives me the option to do it once. So let me guess. He has Destrudo in his hand. Doesn't have Destrudo. He's literally scared to do anything. <gasps> wow, we have drawn Vindred Charge. Isn't that something that's pretty good? That's actually really fucking good because we're able to fucking win now. Um, so we do this. Send that. Special summon Revenant over here. Activate Striges, Revealing Battle Lord. Wait, do I have a Hound Horde sitting in my graveyard? Ooh, we can win now. We can actually win the game. Look at that. This is what this is what the deck is supposed to do. I did have a Hound Horde banish and I special summon Striges instead. Um Alright, so let me see here we can um uh let me see that's uh we can do this summon battle lord by sending anima to the grave anima and then tributing revenants and the striges put that over there so now that gets a special summon that gets to draw an attack activate this Summon that. Oh my lord in heaven, Christ in saviors of sun. Why? Well, we could do that. Activate the last origin, dump executioner. Da -da -da -doom, and literally summon, I guess. Executioner to tribute to banish Slayer and Revenant. Special summon. Activate this. Okay, there we go. Finally got a win. Well, this keeps reminding me of why I don't play Vendrith. But that little last uh, duel is pretty good. See, that's what happens when you're able to, you know, get to your equip spells and do all that extra stuff, which is good. I guess the sad thing about this deck is that you just have to set up. So if there is some way to have to counteract that balance to really go off first turn. Um, would, you would have to incorporate like links and synchros and stuff like that, which is good, I guess, for the deck because we have a lot of self special summoning cards, such as Cord, Hound Horde, and Striges. But the problem with that is that you have to do that, so that <laughs> that's not too good. Um, while I do like these cards, I don't know, man. Oh shit! Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably gonna change the trap lineup. I see, as you can see, I play hand traps, but I just don't draw them um i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see what we can do but that's it for today hope you guys didn't enjoy the video even though we really didn't do so good um i guess but we got one more video and then we're going to end it off and then yeah i will see you guys in a couple of hours stay tuned if you guys would like to help to support the channel links are down in the description down below and if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe for more content like this and we'll be right back